Well, several hours of a recount happening Saturday at the Guam Election Commission. Those results, not much of a change when we're looking at the Leongaro Tenorio team, 8,218 votes, but a slight uptick of about six votes for Ugin Limtiako at 7,964 votes. Maria, what's next? Oh, so the, the commission will meet on Wednesday at 5.30 to discuss um, the other letters that we, uh, that we received and we'll go from there. Yeah, those letters, of course, we know is a renewed request from the Ugin Lim Tiako team to have the GEC hand count the ballots. What are the odds of that happening? Oh, it's up to the commission, I won't say. And then uh, we also have uh, up in the provisional voters who need to cure their registration have until September 7th. And then the off-island ballots have until September 10th to be received here. So the plan is at 5.30 p.m. on September 10th, we will count the provisionals and the, um, and the in, uh, absentee votes. Right. And uh, one thing that also was being looked at was the uh, senatorial races. Both parties, uh, 15th and 16th spot, it looks like there was no change for either side. So they, of course, continue to move forward there to certification. On, yes, they get to move to the general election after certification on September 10th or 11th. Okay. Okay. Anything else that uh, the voters should know after today's recount? Yeah. Um, that's it. If you're not registered yet, re get registered for the general election. All right, get registered for that in November. Thank you so much, Maria, and thank okay. you for your team for sticking it out these several thank hours so for the much. recount. Yes, we still have a little bit of work to do to secure all the ballots again. Okay. Okay. All right, and no check, no problems. Uh, no. No problems at right. this time, yeah. We counted over about 90,000 ballots again. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. All right, again, the Guam Lesh Commission set to meet on the 5th to go over that request from the Ugin Lim Tiako team, and then again on the 10th to uh, go over the absentee ballots and then move forward with certification from there. Back to you.